my daughter has decided to, to go back to the UK to live, we decided to take her to see five fantastic things to see in Abruzzo. Some of them we've already seen before and some of them are going to be completely new to us. So off we go! So our first stop is Castelli. Castelli was a new one for us, we'd never been here before, but we knew that it was pretty famous for the ceramics that they make here. We wanted to go and check it out and see what it was like and the actual location itself was marvellous. Sits nestled on this hillside with the spectacular Gran Sasso Mountains sort of rising from the back of it. It's an extraordinary sight to see. They make all different ceramics, new and old, and they're very, very beautiful and they're all handmade. Everywhere we went, there were little signs of ceramics in the buildings, in the doorways, in the windows. Lots of intricate and interesting pieces of art to see around the place. And just the most spectacular views. We went at lunchtime so there weren't very many people around which gave it a slightly abandoned feeling, especially considering it was August. And I think it's probably better to go when it's heaving and there are lots of people around and it's got a really buzzy atmosphere in the morning or, or in the evening. One of the things that surprised us the most about Castelli was just the sheer damage that was done to the buildings from the various earthquakes that we've had over the last few years. The first one was in 2009 in L'Aquila, but from 2016 to 2018 it seemed like a period of relentless earthquakes. And you can definitely see this in Castelli. It did give the sense that despite the announcement as we arrived in the town that Castelli has been there for over 500 years making ceramics, that it might not be here forever. We didn't stay long in Castelli because we felt the Gran Sasso Mountains calling us.
We stopped at Valley du Sole for a late lunch and a game of cards before we moved on to Campo Imperatore. Who's going there? 